videos once this gets done. If this gets if this gets done. I hope it gets done eventually. So now we just gotta knock this jiggy down before the time goes down. I don't know how just bumping into a big tower vibrates it a bunch. It must be really weak stone is made out of. I hope the video quality isn't too bad so far. I've been messing around with a, different, a few different formats to see which is the best. I'm not really seeing too noticeable difference between them. So... Okay, it looks like I knocked it down all the way. I wasn't paying total attention. So now we've, we've officially completed this world. Although we'll, we'll add a, a bit more time onto the clock way later in the game when we come back for the trying to install me for Hellfire Peaks. We've already opened the prison door, so all I gotta do is... I don't want to talk to her, but... Another cutscene you gotta sit through. You know the cutscenes in this game aren't that long. If you see Dolberto stand up, you can see your tail through your legs, which just doesn't look that right. And that, that leads to Litter Gulch Mine, which is the world we're on right now, so that works out really nice. And it's just really weird that a fox is married or is mated with a like I don't even know what that is, a mole or something? Or a, a wombat. Not really sure what that is. So I got some cross species going on there. Not really appropriate for a kid's game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I like how you, you, she went in before you, but then she comes in after you, after you walk through, so, must be doing some time travel. So there's the Jiggy, the first one in the world. I think we will be getting nine on our playthrough today, and then just one other one. And I will get those notes later after I do something. That one. I'm gonna activate this warp pad. First thing we're gonna do take on the, this challenge. We gotta walk through and get, gotta run on the water and get through a gate before the time runs out. So I saw a video of like, one speed through. This guy takes a really cool way of getting there. He doesn't go uh, up through here. You can get that ginger on the way, which is hard, hard to find in a different way. And there you are. Although I think he was still running when he did it, I, I forgot the exact path exactly. And there's another dude right there. But then this just le it, that leads nicely to our next duty. Yeah. Oh. These are the flooded caves I was talking about, but if you know which pipes to take, it's not that hard. And it's super quick actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So there we go, right there. You guys hide, hide in paths under the ground. Like, pretty noticeable. I 
Well, this area kind of spooked me as a kid. I mean, I never really like areas where you're kind of trapped and you gotta get out, but once you know what's going on, it's not that hard. And we're back up to where we used to be. Is it right there? You can see a Kazooie Boulder right there. You learn how to break those in the, in the fourth row. Jolly Rock the Lagoon, and that leads to the Mega Golbo that you can unlock if you get the Ice Key. Hidden down here is the Trouble Club for the whole world. I think it's a pretty nifty hiding spot. I mean, I don't think I would have noticed it. I mean, I've noticed it obviously, but it's a bit easy to overlook if you're not paying attention. There's also a Jane Joe in here that I just missed. Oh, I forgot you can't get it yet. Yeah, the ginger you get in this world, you actually get... You swim through a pipe in Jolly Roger Lagoon, which leads to the top of the water tanks. You can't get up there normally. And that's the Jinjo we can't get yet, because it has the springy step shoes. We, get, we learn the springy step shoes in World 5, with a lot of backtrack in this world. There's actually a, a Jiggy in World 4 that you can't get until you've gone to World 8, the very last level. So that's kind of insane. Got a Jinjo on there we gotta grab. Alright, so now we're gonna head to we're gonna head to Mumble's house. Or actually Yeah, we'll we'll head to Mumble's house. I'm just trying to get orientated. I mean, if this is six months ago, I'm doing a way better route than this. But I'm a, I'm a bit rusty. I still don't know where everything is, but the path I chose to get there may not be the smoothest. And I've already... Oh, I haven't forgotten that before, though. So I got the two globos for this world, so I'm set there. I just wanted to destroy that. You know what, I'm gonna go to Wumba's and get her stuff taken care of. I don't care. I think that'd work out better. So I just wasted some time going to Mumbo's house, but still. So you turn into a little detonator guy, and you, you gotta. You attack by blowing up, that takes away health, so you're not really going to be doing much attacking. You can, however, set off these fuses without, without taking any damage. I think there's either two or three of these that I need to take care of. So that's the first one, and actually I need to go back in there, I don't know what I'm thinking. Gotta set her free. Take some damage. We watch another cutscene of her just leaving. I'm wasting my time some more. Yeah, there's three of the things I need to blow up. I, I need to I need to free her, and then you need to unblock the way of this spaceship that that goes to World Three. And then you need to unblock a path to the dinjo. There's actually an alternate entrance to the water caves I was just in that you do by blowing up another place. But since I used the other exit to get there, I don't need to do that now. Like, there's no reason to go and get that exit. You can blow it up. So that's a time saver if you're looking to do a quick run through this game. The important thing to do and to know when you're going through a game fast is to cut down on your needless walking. Like you should always be 
But you shouldn't be backtracking, you should always be doing something. So like, plan out your routes carefully, and just, just eliminate doubling back, or try not to forget things. And, and that'll really help you out. It's obviously need to set done. I mean, these worlds are a lot bigger than Banjo Kazooie. I mean, Banjo Kazooie worlds are tiny. I mean, I know some people have beaten the first world in like under five minutes. Which I'm sure I could do it if I just watched the video and followed along. But it's a lot harder to follow along a like speed play video on this on this game because the worlds are just so much more open, and you gotta know exactly where to go. Because it's less linear. It's that simple. Ironically, actually, I actually know this game better, and I can 